from like the age of four, my dad would sexually assault me and my mom would physically, emotionally, and verbally abuse me. What is this about your dad would lock your siblings in the room to molest you? Uh, every Saturday, it was a thing for like 10 years, my mom would go with her friends and play cards and my dad would be left to watch me and my siblings. And he would just make up an excuse as to why my siblings got in trouble. And he would lock them in the rooms as punishment and then take me into the bathroom and sexually assault me there. Now, your father has been accused of touching another child recently. My niece, she had, she's came forward and said that my dad had told her that he wants to have sex with her and that he was grabbing on her body and tried to kiss her on the mouth. You know, a couple things I, I want to get to. You feel like you're the victim, Natasha, that you and Frederick are the victims in this story. We are. And, uh, okay. Explain that to me, please. Because it's not the first time Haley has made up lies to get either one of us in trouble. The whole thing with CPS, she punched herself. You in punched me in my nose. You I came up behind you. You, you were in there. You were not there. You can't say that. You were in the living room. I was there. I walked up behind you. Grabbed you up and hit a child. You and I, I got hit because I was taking you off of the kid. I never saw you. Girl, this is a scene. So she punched herself in the face. She punched herself yes, she in the nose. Now, the one thing I do have to ask you, it's not even on what I'm supposed to ask you, but I gotta ask you, you were 14 years old and he was 27, you started uh, dating? I was 13, 13 and he was 27. 27. And you start, as a 27 year old grown man, you start dating a 13 year old girl. You didn't yep. see any problem with this. Not really. I okay, think then. you're, uh, a predator, and you preyed on a 13-year-old girl. I, I think you know exactly what Haley told you, and we'll find out when we get to Amber C. Life type stuff. So you never sexually abused your daughter? Hell no. You Haley? know you did. You took you know me. I did. You walked me in the bathroom, CPS, and, and you told me you know you did. You know you did. So uh, Haley came here and took a lie to tuck the test, and we asked her, did Frederick sexually abuse you as a child? She answered yes. Did Natasha show you how to give Frederick a hickey as a child? She answered yes. Are you fabricating the molestation? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Haley told the truth. <laughs> A child molester, a guy that's attracted to children because he was attracted to you as a child. So you know that as fact. He is attracted to children. And he stepped over the line. He molested your own daughter. He molested Nicole's daughter. You are two of the sickest people I've ever met. And with that, get these people off my show. Today, Frederick and Natasha's other child, Brandon, is here. He says he also suffered terrible physical abuse from Frederick, including being tased as a child. Also, for his entire life, Brandon was told that Frederick was his father. But now, not only are his parents telling him that Frederick is not his father, they also say Brandon is lying about the abuse allegations. Uh, you know, your sister was here, I think, last week, and she just told the... A horrific story. How was your childhood? Uh, it was horrible. I was, it was a nightmare. I was beat on a daily basis. I was tased. I was hit with tools. I was told I was worthless and stupid. And, By both your mother and father? Uh, or? Mostly uh, Fred. Uh, my mom just kind of sat there and watched it all happen. Yeah. Um, when you're going through this as a child, what was going through your mind? Yeah, I was horrified. Like, I felt like I was unloved. I was the mistake they made years ago that they didn't want around anymore. What did your dad do to you at the uh, age of five? Uh, I remember coming out of the bathroom, and I did something to upset him. 
and to the point where he came up with this wrench and he just cracked me right here in my head. I had a golf ball size. You still got a golf ball size <laughs> thing there. Jeez <laughs> Louise. But and it throbbed for weeks. Uh, I was told to lie about it that I ran into a doorknob. Had to go to school and family What did your mom functions. say? Like, did your mom do anything? I went up to her and told her what happened and she just told me to go to the room. It would be okay. What did he do to you at age 13? Uh, that's when the tasing started. Um, like an electrical taser? Yeah, it was one of those little handheld yeah. ones that you plug in and recharge. Uh, and he would just tase you with that? Yeah, I'm terrified of hearing the stove come on because it sounds like that taser. How many times did he do that? Hundreds of times. And your mother never stepped in and put a stop to it? Never once. What happened when you were 14 years old? Um, I was trying to escape my prison that I was in, locked in my room, and he caught me and he tased me in my oh. I gotta imagine that hurt like hell. Uh, it, one of the, some of the worst pain I've ever felt. Uh, they kicked you out. How old were you when they, you, they kicked you out? I was 14. So right after the tasing of your mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah, because I got tired of the abuse and they knew I could no longer be a victim, so they didn't want me in their household no more. Where'd you go? Uh, I ended up contacting a family member and stayed with them. Until you it, stayed with them until, for the rest of your childhood? Uh, yeah, I was turned 17. I ended up convincing them into signing paperwork to let me join the military. Well, not a bad idea. Uh, um, I had to do something to change my life around. Yeah. They, he uh, raised me as his son. Well, you called him dad, right? Yes, sir. His name's on your birth certificate, right? Yes, it is. Well, it's not a far-fetched thing mm -hmm. to think that he's your father. It, it, that's what they told everybody until, um, the, until people started questioning it. And then my mom lied about it and said oh, he wasn't my father just so he didn't go to jail. And, but why did you take a lie detector test? To, because I'm tired of being called a liar. About oh, because abuse. of all these, what you say that he did to you, tasing you, yeah. beating you. Now, he's accused of touching a young child recently. Do you know this child? She's my stepdaughter. The last time I was on the show, I was facing allegations from my daughter, and I'm not really sure what happened, but I am working on clearing it up with myself. We were heavy drinkers back then, and we really don't remember a whole lot. Brandon is one of my kids, and he's my favorite child because he's my firstborn. Growing up, we always told Brandon that Fred was his father because he was the one there taking care of him. The reason my name's on Brandon's birth certificate is because when his real father found out that Natasha was pregnant, he left out, out of the picture, and I wanted Brandon to have a father. And now I have my son, Brandon, making up stories about how I used to abuse him. When Brandon was a teenager, he had gotten out of control. He was always getting into fights. I had to pick him up numerous times from the police department. Growing up, me and Brandon used to get along great. It's just when he turned into a teenager and started doing drugs and started acting out that we no longer got along. Brandon was even in a gang called the Cool Kid Gang. He's lying because Fred was never abusive with him. Yeah, there was times him and Brandon had butted heads, but there was never any abuse. I never really punched him. I smacked him. I probably hit him harder than what I should. But, you know, he, he was a big kid and he was very violent. He's telling you guys that I used to tase him, which he, he, he's using things out of context. Frederick took a DNA test because Brandon wanted one and he wants to know who his real dad is. Last time we was on the show, I, I told Steve that I was 27 and Tosh was 13 when we got together, but we did nothing sexual until she was 17 years old. Therefore, I could not be Brandon's father. Brandon took a lie detector test about these allegations about Fred abusing him and he is going to fail his test. Me and Fred are back on the show to prove that none of this is true and so our kids will finally leave us alone and stop victimizing us. Okay, I, I'm sorry I have to go there. You were part of a game called the Cool Kids Game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, 
It was something stupid me and my friends yeah. did. Girl. And I just want to say, if I ever got jumped by a gang, <laughs> I want to get, I want to get jumped by the cool kids. <laughs> we never did anything illegal. <laughs> so, listen, um, I'm a little confused because when you were on the show, when I talked to you before, you talked about this incredible romance between a 27-year-old man and a 13-year-old girl, right? You fell in love. Right. But you really respected each other and said, we're not going to have sex until I am of legal age. Right? Right. But then yes. you start somebody else. What? Right? No, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that incredible love story that you started because, sleeping with another guy? Because I had messed up and cheated on him, and we broke up and got back together when I was 17. OK, so you patched up this wonderful love story. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. How long have you known Natasha? From what age? My whole life. Since you were a baby? Yeah. And, yeah, then, my when uncle's she, best friend. and then when she was 13 years old, you developed romantic feelings for her. They used to brag about how he changed her diapers. We never bragged. In the first place, that. no one bragged about it, Brandon, you liar. Did no. you change her diapers? Him and his ex-wife did. Me and my ex-wife. Frederick, uh, you know, your, your son, Brandon here, or maybe son, maybe not son, but you raised him. You look at him as a son. He says, you know, you're hitting him in the head with socket wrenches. You're tasing him with the taser. Is, uh, you tased him in his testicles. Any of that true? No. Is any of that true? Yes. I'm asking they you, they taste, let uh, Frederick's we, a big boy. Hey, Natasha, 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 Frederick's a big boy. Let him answer for himself. Oh, you taste each other. They taste each other. I, I never they, their I got the chance they, to taste each other. They their friends. It's a little mm -hmm. nine volt taser. So you, you admit tasing him, but he would tase you too. I wish I did. Uh, Brandon, stop lying. Brandon, you did more than one. You sat there and hold it on yourself. Frederick, and okay. Frederick, did so you tase him? It. Frederick, did you tase him? We all tased each other. And so he tased you back, you're saying? Uh, everybody tased everybody. <laughs> so Brandon came here and we asked him, did Frederick ever tase you? He said yes. and, and uh, Frederick, you basically uh, admitted that you did. Um, but yeah. you, you said you, you tase him back and forth. Everybody was tasing everybody. Okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Except I, never, I wish I got the chance to tase Look, you. So we asked, did Frederick ever tase you? He answered yes. Did Frederick ever strike or punch you in the face? He answered yes. Did Frederick hit you in the head with a metal tool when you were a minor child? He answered yes. The results came back all the same, and it came that Brandon told the truth. But I'm lying, right? I'm so sick of talking to you, told a lie. We did a DNA test concerning whether Frederick is Brandon's and father. Frederick is not the father. Yeah, your dad's had Puerto Rican. I hope. Uh, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican. Rican. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Brandon is not your biological child. Thank oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the luckiest son of a bitch that's ever walked on my stage. You say they're not related to him. You know, I don't know if there's uh, any investigation with you with molesting these children. No, 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 I, there, there, I most certainly hope, there most definitely is. I certainly hope that you go to prison someday. Uh, I, you know, and the good thing about this is, this is the last time I'm ever going to see you two dirtbags ever again. Oh, you got to learn from what they did. I hope that you'll be a wonderful, uh, you know, parent to, to your children, your stepchildren, and I wish you all luck in the world. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.